So you had a booger wall when you were a child? Yeah, I like was somehow proud of the amount of boogers that came out of me, and I had a side table. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why do you think there is a moral component to boogers? I thought I don't know. I thought it was like fascinating that I had this stuff that came out of me, and I was like proud of how much I could accumulate on my side table. And my mom found it, and she got really mad at me. I think she'd be more concerned that you were going to make yourself ill no, through she... your booger collection. I would like go to sleep looking at my boogers, and somehow that like comforted me or something. So Anyways. boogers were your only friends when you were a child? Yeah. All right. Where did where did you grow up? I'm from Marin County. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, booger freak. Yeah. I don't know. Did you have siblings? I did, yeah. Do they have booger issues? I don't think he had any booger issues. I think it was just me. It's like this weird, like... Do you still have a booger wall? I don't have a booger wall. All right. But you're not grossed out by boogers, clearly. I'm not grossed out. And I also, like, my mom... I grew up in Marin. My mom's, like, lax about germs and dirt and... You're making her sound like one of the best moms ever, <laughs> she, I have to she, say. She is a really good mom. But I actually... This is, like, really embarrassing... Well, then let's have but, it. But not as embarrassing as a booger wall or just as embarrassing. But I didn't know that picking your nose in public... Oh, it is. You wear a hat on this show, I've noticed. You wear a hat a lot. I do wear a hat on the show. Yeah, which is a shame because you've got such a lovely head. Well, thank you. But it's been such a big deal. It's funny. I, I, I thought, like, this hat represents this character. Like, she has an attitude. And yeah. when you have a hat on as a woman, it's an attitude. And oh, so, well. you know, it makes you feel like you have an attitude. Do you know what I mean? Do you feel like you have an attitude? <laughs> oh, it looks like I've got a giant head. <laughs> That's too, too small. It's a, it's a shame you wear it. Yeah, I, let me see that. No, it's nice. It looks good. I, it no, but like it's, I'm surprised that you chose to wear a hat because you're famous for your head. I am? Oh, my God! Thanks, for God's sake! What? I can't believe you're telling Everybody me in Hollywood that. thinks your head is fantastic, bro. Don't listen to this man. Oh, I'm just saying. She wears a hat because you've got... Great head. <laughs> Troubles with stuff. zits? I can't imagine you have trouble with zits. <laughs> Sometimes. Really? Yeah. I had one in my nose last week. I Did couldn't you? see it, but it was one of those undergrounders. Oh, it was miserable. It's so, Did I get that? It's so painful, isn't it? When oh, it's like... and then you do it in your eye, kind of feels like a little piggy <laughs> eye. Have you ever gotten one in your eye? I, I once had a Shalazian in my eye. Do you know what that is? No, I don't know. It, it sounds like a little leprechaun stick, right? But right. it's not. It's like, a, it's like a thing, like a little pearl. It's dirt forms in you, and then it forms like a pearl, and they have to cut it out. It sounds awful. <laughs> yeah, that's how attractive I am, baby. Amazing. No, it's good. So how are you doing? Have you, I haven't seen you for ages. Have I you know, been, it's been like two years since I've been Lord, on here. what have you been doing then? You've been on vacation? Have I've been you, uh, hanging out. I've been working. For two years? Yeah, for two years, moving around the town. I've lived in about three different houses. Really? Yeah. Well, have you, which houses have you lived in? Have you lived in a, an apartment? No. Oh. Well, no. I thought I would have get at least one of them right. You've never lived in an apartment? <laughs> Did you ever live in an apartment I, with other girls and have pillow fights to end your disputes? I did do that, yeah. Actually, in college, I lived in a, in a house that we, was called the Palace. Slower, slower. <laughs> in college. No, 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 yes. it's all right. You lived in a house called the Palace? Yes. Look at, can you see that? Can you, can you guys get that? Look at that. Yeah. Look at the size of my head. Yeah. Next to it. <laughs> Wait, what is in there? Uh, water. Okay. <laughs> It's all right. It is. It's water. What's your snake's name? Uh, his name is Kadia. Kadia? Well, that short for him? Yeah, well, no, that's the full name. His short name is Kiki, but then I just learned what Kiki means backstage. <laughs> what does it mean? Do you want me to tell you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of those white parties I don't talk about. <laughs> Really? Yeah. That's a thing? Yeah, they call it Kiki. Now I gotta rename my snake. I mean Is that a, can we say that then? We're not we're not saying what it is. <laughs> it's a it's a Scottish word actually. It means uh...
<laughs> it means snake. Uh, so there you are. Do you have any other pets or just a snake? Yeah. Maybe you buy a rat from time to time, I, right? Yeah, a lot, always, they're very temporary pets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does it have to eat live? Uh... Well, mine, mine loves live because uh, mommy likes to keep his instincts intact, you know? What, are you uh, saving him up for some kind of attack? <laughs> Is he an Dude. attack snake? When the world has in. I go offered the porn. You did? Yeah. Did you do it? No. Why did well, you just no. randomly get offered a porn? Well, I didn't say I randomly got offered a porn. Tell, what happened? Well, I knew a guy who knew a guy when I was out of work, and, and, and he said, I'll give you a job in one of my movies, and then, then I got the script. Step into my basement. It was, no, it was like, it was yeah. a proper, they had a script, and it Drink was like this. for an hour-long movie, right? Or hour-and-a-half-long movie, and I, the script was like four pages. <laughs> Oh, there's probably a lot of improvisation. And there was. <laughs> I wish I'd done it, though, now. Really? Yeah, because now I can't regret it. You can't regret it? I think my kids would like it when they get older, see what their dad looked like. I don't think your wife would like it, although since she loves True Blood movies, Right, that, that's would. what I'm saying. She watches True Blood, and, you know, if I'd say, well, honey, I made a porn, look at this. <laughs> No vampires in it, though. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Betty White's in your film. Truth. That's good. Who do you like? Why are you saying truth? Is that a new thing that the kids are doing? No. You've done it twice now. I don't know. No, you're doing it. You're trying to make it happen, it. aren't you? It's like truth. Truth. Yeah, yeah like yeah. leg warmers. When I tried to bring those back, that God. didn't work. <laughs> If we're going to wear them, you were too busy. No, I didn't. But in college, awesome I tried shoes, to break. Thank I, you very yeah. Up to date on, you know, just the new hip, cool things like online dating. Yeah, I, I, I do that too. Yeah. <laughs> online date or make No, I don't online more. date. My wife, my wife gets furious yeah, when I go yeah, online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, by the way, yeah. my husband. Yeah, too, so. so that's why your friend is, is going on the online date. Right, 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 that's right. That's not new, though, online dating. People have been doing that since a while ago. Yeah. Right. I mean, it was not around when I met my husband. And, well, yeah. Well, you know, how long have you been with your new. husband? We've been together almost eight years. Well, there you are. Then. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually uh, eight Hollywood years, which is like which 25. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah that's, uh, but, you know, I had to, like, he would call me on the phone yeah. and ask me how I was doing, and I just had to answer him live. And that was really stressful for me. And everyone else gets to wait and type their cute little answer. Yeah, and yeah. so now I'm upset and offended. Well, yeah, you know, you, know? you probably want to get over it a little bit. You're doing fine, you know. It, you're, you're in a good marriage. It, it worked you know, out I didn't have any emojis. I didn't have, like, anything. I just had to, like, it was just raw, you know? Not fair. Not fair. Well, when I started dating my wife, we had to carve stone tablets. <laughs> In a way. Um, hey, uh, excuse me, I'm. Uh, oh. Out. Oh. What is that? It's a. I don't know why I just did that. I'm I glad saw you this did. I'm just, I'm, no, I'm glad. And it made me go, ooh, ooh. You know how they. Yeah. And you just go, ooh, ooh, yeah. just as much as you damn like, yeah. young lady. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Uh, do you, do you like the disco music? I really, I do like disco music. Really? Yes, do you? You know, I, n n not no? so much. I, I, I kind of, uh, I, the era that I was kind of, you know, uh, getting involved yeah. in music, it, disco was the enemy. Uh, right. But um, you liked it? I did like it. I see. I did. You're the first person that I've ever met in my life that's ever said, yeah, I actually like disco. Everyone else is like, oh, I was never into it. I'm like, really? No, there's I really like it. Yeah, okay. I think there's something very saucy and perky about it. <laughs> Saucy and perky are definitely words in my head right now, but I, I don't know how you can... Oh, look, we're out of time. What do you fancy? Do you want a mouth organ, an awkward pause, or do you want uh, the go for the big cash prize? Mouth organ. Um... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I think we should just go for the awkward pause. Uh, I, 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 fine. <laughs> you want to do awkward pause with subtext? Yeah. Okay, uh, let's do awkward pause with... Okay. Um, Smell my finger. <laughs> See, that's the subtext. Yeah. That was... No, I, I'll... What? Am I supposed to actually smell it? <laughs> so, when you get married? Um, you know... Not... Wow. Who's... Wow. <laughs>
Look at that. Thank, yeah. It's, Is it Trump? <laughs> no. No, no, no. You surprised me. Um, <laughs> uh, he, no, his name is Brian. And uh, we, we're not getting married until next year. Well, that's probably for the best. Yeah. He's going to have to save up some money after that. <laughs> Are you going to do anything special, like skydiving marriage, perhaps, or uh, no, wanna... underwater? N no, nothing, nothing too crazy. We want to keep it outdoors, and, you know, we want it to be like a weekend event, have our whole family come, and... It's going to be nice. That's nice. Yeah, the yeah. first thing we did was was hire a um, a wedding planner because Oh yeah, that that's not It going saves to be it's easy. like it's it saves the No, no, I found we found one almost immediately, but it literally saves the relationship. It's like Yeah, listen, I've been down this road a couple of times. <laughs> uh, at a certain point, I think uh, eloping is what you should do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The second time around, elope. Third. Third. Yeah, yeah. Second one, you know, you gotta be, uh, remember to invite all the people that weren't at the first one. It's a whole thing. Yeah, it's a whole, you'll be fine. I'm sure yours will be fine. Yeah. Uh, that, I was drunk. Oh. You need help? Yes, I'm starting a talk show. I need, I need to learn some things from you. What kind of You come to the wrong place for a talk show. Uh. What? Well, here's what I would do. Deconstruct the genre, get yourself a skeleton robot, and cuss as much as possible. Advice, Craig, and you know it. All right, then. Um, look what, what people are saying on uh, Twitter or on the internet, and whatever suggestions they make, follow them. <laughs> and then you'll make a great show. I have another thing for you. Are you going to let me interview you on my show? Sure, you want to do me in, uh, I mean, interview me now? <laughs> Knock it off! <laughs> I've known her since she was a little girl! <laughs> yeah, go ahead, start. I'll pretend I'm on your guest. Hi, Kiki. How have you been? It's so wonderful to have you. Thanks. <laughs> so tell me, how have you been lately? What's new? Well, um, I've, uh, I've, I've been to, I've bought a house. A house? Is this your first house? No, I'm 52 years old, Kiki. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your... Don't you have producers? <laughs> You gotta look me up before I come on the show. <laughs>